I really, I was really proud of myself for being able to be valedictorian because it was like, that was a goal I'd always set for myself when I was entering high school. I was like, I gotta be valedictorian because I thought that it was just like the cliche top of your school nerd and I was like, that's me. <laughs> so I was like, I need to do that. And I was, I challenged myself throughout the entirety of my, all my high school years because I was like, I just gotta keep working at it and hopefully it'll everything will work out. And it it was a little weird, but I think it worked out for the best. Everything, all things considered. Yeah, I definitely was shocked to learn that I was going to be second. I really didn't think that it was something that I really wanted. It wasn't like a big goal, but when I saw that I finally had it, I was like, yes, I'm second, but only to her. <laughs> so it's good enough for me, and I really it felt like a really big achievement, and solidified that I wasn't, you know. I wasn't just the sporty one who did all the extracurriculars, I was also smart, too. <laughs> it definitely meant a lot to me to have Holly with me because I definitely had my time, especially during the online stuff, where I did not understand a lick of what the teachers were saying. I was like, I don't even know what Mr. Christian means, I don't even know what Mr. Marquardt is talking about. And then she would be like, we can figure it out, don't get stressed out, and then I'd definitely have to do the same for her. But we definitely calmed each other down, helped each other out a lot, and I think it really made it a lot better. It was nice to just be able to look over and know that you're going to have somebody that was going through the same thing. And so it was like, she knows what I'm going through because she's doing the same exact, she puts in the same amount of effort, she knows what, how much stress ever, that I'm taking on because she's doing it herself. And so it's really nice. And plus, I always had a friend in class, because Ava was in all of my classes, basically. We'd always yeah, be like, basically oh, it looks classes. like we're, and we have to sit next to each other because we're doing alphabetical order. <laughs> but it was still fun. Yeah. I definitely, there was a lot of learning curve, especially when we got into freshman year, and we had to, we started off with only one AP class, but these are like college-level classes. You're coming in from middle school, which is not the hardest thing ever, <laughs> but like, it was difficult difficult to get that transition and it definitely took a lot of effort to learn how to write how they want you to write because it's a specific writing style that you have to learn and I thought I would definitely not be good at it and then I, I wasn't the best I could have done better and put a little bit more effort in but she definitely was very good at the writing portion I was like the multiple choice lucky straw stick uh, in uh, freshman year, I remember that I was like, I need to impress everyone. I have to do the best on every test and do everything. And so, like, we had these, like, chapter written that we had to do, and I'd write them multiple times. Rewrite them over and over until I got to the one where I was like, that looks good. And then if the handwriting looked bad, I'd rewrite it again. Mm -hmm. And then I'd turn it in, and he'd be like, that's really good, Holly. You, pr you did that really well. And I'm like, yeah, I wrote like 10 of them before that, so that's the best one. It's watered down. Everything's the best parts of everything. Yeah, and then I'd write one that's half the length, and I'd still get 20 out of 20. <laughs> but, you know, you still did really good. <laughs> it was just, it was very rewarding to be able to see both of us get some, a great accomplishment, because... You know, I'm pro I, I want to be happy, but if I, you know, wasn't, I mean, if I wasn't in the top ten and she was number one, maybe I would have felt a little bit left out. But, you know, it was nice to both feel like we were pretty much equal. It was nice to be able to kind of sit there and be like, I get to share this awesome achievement with my sister, and we both get to, like, be, it's not just one of us being celebrated. Because it always sinks when somebody else, you're, Ava's getting celebrated for something, and I just have to sit there, and I get to be excited for Ava, but it's like, then I'm sitting there doing nothing at the same time, but it was nice to be able to do it with her, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I guess. <laughs>